What's up guys, Austin Newman here, and today we're gonna to be learning this very simple music video effect that you can achieve right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro without any plugins or presets of any kind. This is an effect that is inspired by the Kendrick Lamar music video in which they rotate around a subject that we're only using with one camera. Now I'm gonna show you how to achieve this, but before we dive in, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. All right, so we are now inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got both of my photos queued up. You'll notice that both of these photos rotate around a subject. In this case, this subject is my friend, Neil. So thanks, Neil, for being a part of the tutorial. And what we want to do is you want to shoot two different photos. You can possibly even use three if you'd like. I like to use two. In this example, we're going to be using just these two photos. But what you want to do is you want to use your feet to pivot around your subject and keep them in the same side of the frame and just kind of slightly over. You don't want to take your camera and just move it straight to the right or left and snap a photo. You want to actually kind of rotate it around your subject and take each of your photos. So now that you've shot both of your photos, you want to bring both of these photos into your sequence. Now these are a little bit larger because they are raw photos. I do suggest using raw photos for this so you get a better color grading option. But since they are larger than my sequence here, I'll just highlight them both, right click and set to frame size to bring them to the same size as my sequence. Now we're going to go to the very beginning of this sequence here and with our right arrow key we're going to go over two times one two and that'll bring us two frames in i'm going to cut this back to two frames and i want to use two frames for a specific reason i like the look that it's going to give you can use one frame you can use three frames it's really up to your own taste but i think two gives the best effect now i'm going to bring the second photo in and we're going to go two more frames over one two we're gonna cut that back. Now you'll start to see this effect materialize, but what we wanna do is we want to highlight both of these, Command C on Mac to copy these. I'm gonna use the down arrow key to go between cuts here, go to the last part, and now we're gonna do Command V to paste those. I'm gonna go again, highlight them, Command C, paste, and you're gonna do this a few times until you get a long enough sequence to your desire. I'm probably going with about four seconds. So you will get this effect once you're done. So if you're like me, you'd probably want to color grade this as well. Now, instead of going to each individual clip and going to Lumetric Color and making your adjustments, you can simply go up here to your project panel, right click in here, new item adjustment layer. These are my settings, so it looks good. Now just bring the adjustment layer over top and you can make your corrections to this adjustment layer. So if I wanted to do something on the curves to affect all of the clips, I'd probably make like a standard S curve and just bring something in like this. And that's as easy as it is to get this effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Of course, if you learned something, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. And until next time, we'll see you later.